All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we are back, and uh, if you like to stay with us, you are welcome, invite your friends, and we will have a little bit of chat. Now, for sure, we will open Skype. If there is any Muhammadan who would like to call us, we will be happy to talk to you. Uh, you know, <clears throat> some people, they ask me in the, ch in the chat, they said, why you insist that the Muslims should answer you about uh, why they did not say, inshallah? You see, maybe you know, like you, you have no idea how Islam works. And trust me, when I ask this question, it means it's very important. Maybe it sounds maybe silly for you because you do not know much about Islam. But for Muslims, a true Muslim, he will not say, I will do this without saying, inshallah, unless he is a liar according to Islam. Do you understand? So, when this guy, he claimed to be uh, a Muslim missionary, or if we can call it, or a sheikh. My voice is low. Hey guys, my voice is low. Hey, hold on. Why my voice is low? Uh, let us see. Studio setting. Um... Property. Well, my voice should be fine. I'm not sure. Voice is very low. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let us see what's happening here. It's fine. Okay, let's try something else. Is it better now? Is it stronger now? Now, now? Let us see. Maybe we need some adjustment. You see, I don't have uh, like a team to work with me <coughs> to make things and all the equipment I have, let us see here what we have, this one, I'm not sure, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay, look like we are going to spend a day just fixing this, one, one, mm. okay, let's do this, maybe. What about now? Is it better now? It's fine. All right. So those who ask me why you insist to ask about inshallah, you see, they from their side, they are trying to dishonor me in front of the Christians. Correct? This is the whole plan. I mean, this is a setup, supposedly. They, they think they can do to me the same as they did to uh, David Wood by making mockery. I know them. I mean, it's, uh, I told you from yesterday, I told you from before, those people, they never debate. So, and he did not even dare to speak to me. If you notice, they would Skype in the other side of the room so nobody hear it except them. And if my voice would come, still, I mean, they mute it or they put it down. So they can hear maybe, but the rest of the people in the other chat, they can hear nothing. And he made a big mistake. He thought, I'm going just to call. I will not have my channel open. First of all, he assumed I would never call. This is his assumption. But for me, why I want to waste this opportunity to beat the devil in his room? It's a priceless. Right? And here we go. I got thousands of subscribers because of this guy just today. <laughs> they think they are humiliating me and, you know, calling names and all this. It's okay. No problem. You see, I, I, I'm blessed by the Lord. They will call you because of my name. They will call you. They will curse you. It's okay. That does not really offend me. It doesn't make me upset. You see, I'm used to it. I mean, uh, uh, this is the only way for this cult. They cannot answer you. I mean, here's a question. And by the way, the video he is uh, posting about uh, the women, it's cut it off. They, they, they put it together. You know, this is not the video. The video is there. The admin is posting it. It's more than two hours and a half video. This is more than two hours video. So they cut pieces 
and they say they say the word panty and this to make me look like you know a bad guy you know what I mean but the question is I was reading what I was reading their books my microphone switched suddenly I hear myself okay let's see now I don't know what happened maybe microphone move you know what I mean I was reading their books so instead of uh, answering me about what I was reading I think the sound became so hold on I think now is better no so strong oh boy there is something wrong with the microphone I think let's see here one two one two I think now is good right is it good now all right yeah so when he a post in YouTube always and he claimed to be a person who promote Islam and defend Islam but yet he don't say inshallah that's mean he don't believe in anything his prophet said are you getting my point and this why none of them he did, he, he said uh, I should not say that and actually later this guy uh, uh, Dawa uh, there's somebody was watching he said to them uh, well if from now on let us say inshallah so he will not come back to us on this from now on don't say inshallah we have to say inshallah but hey, this <laughs> it's too late what kind of a Muslim expose his prophet lies because listen he did not say inshallah yet this debate happened According to Islam, if you don't say inshallah, nothing will happen. A Christian prince will not show up. And maybe this is why he did not even say inshallah. Because he don't mean it. You know what I mean? But by not saying that, he confirmed that his prophet is a liar. And you see, he avoid answering that because he would go the hate in front of us. That a prophet of God, and he's a prophet of God. Just because he forgot to say, inshallah, after having sex with 99 women or 100, he could not have one of them have a baby. So either Muhammad is a liar, because here we go, uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, he did not say, inshallah, and the debate happened. And none of the Christians, they say, inshallah, and we do what we do. Actually, we accomplish in, in, in non-Muslim countries what nobody accomplished. I mean, go to Islamic countries, the whole country run by inshallah this is why there's no electricity there's no fixed roads there's no schools there's no hospitals and they cannot even make a, a you know a little a tiny machine like uh, in Egypt they say they want to send the satellite the whole satellite is is a, is a, is a collection from the market and the one who put it together is the Chinese and yet they say we are going to send the satellite we love the same as the Iranian inshallah but I assure you from now on Mimi and all those Muslims will never make a post count my words they will never make a post in YouTube again without saying inshallah this is was a horrible mistake you know actually I did not take attention for this in the beginning but then I was looking like, well, what, what, why this guy is not saying inshallah? He claimed to be doing da'wah and he asking for donation and he claimed to be a, a Muslim, a real Muslim. And he teach other Muslims. Actually, he fight with other Muslims about things. Supposedly, he is the guy. This guy, he have videos about Muslims. He keep, keep attacking Muslims too. But yet he is the last one who follow the basic of Islam, which is saying inshallah, which means Allah is willing. And chapter 8, 18 in the Quran saying exactly that. And he, he, he refused to read it. So the, the ones of you who says, why you insist? And like there's a one, someone he says, a Christian fell into the trap and he keep asking for inshallah. This is, not, this is their trap. They were trying to get away from it. Because you are naive, you do not know how important this is. All the Muslims who heard this challenge, why you are not saying inshallah, they are pissed. They are disappointed. I mean, why you did not say he was right? He did not say inshallah. So maybe for you this is not important. So don't question please what I do. 
when it's come to Islam. You can question me about anything else. I mean, maybe maybe you can correct my English. Maybe, you, you know, I mean, it's okay. But don't correct me when it's come to Islam. Don't do that. Right? Then they were asking me questions I can't even hear. And then they said to me, read for us chapter 9, verse number 30. And the funny, he says, this guy, he do not know how to read. And by the way, you can go and watch the video. Listen to my reading. And this is a Muslim website. Let me let me go there. Here we go. And the funny about this website, which Muslims, maybe this hijab he is not aware of, that he was saying, I do not know how to read and my translation I was lying. Did he say that? He did, right? Look, this this website, when you move your hand over the word, the mouse, over the word, it show you the translation. Does it? Actually, I, most, I made a video. If you guys, you can go and watch it. I just posted it in, uh, I made two videos in Patreon. So please go and download them. Especially the last one. So look, in this website, when you move your mouse in the top of the word, it show you the exact translation for the word. Correct? And if you want, you can play the sound. You see here, it says play. Play. You know? You can play it. And this, this idiot, he forgot that people can go and play it and they will see Christian Prince reading. It's perfectly fit. And not only that, perfectly fit translation. Here we go. Let us go back slowly. Have taken. They have taken. Their rabbis. And their monks. As gods, as lords. Min dunillah instead of Allah and the Messiah. Where is my lie? Where is the lie? This is what I said. The verse saying they took their monks, their rabbi and their monks, as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. And this is what the verse is saying. Right? And then, you know, they play a video about me uh, uh, speaking to a Muslim woman. Uh, Christian Prince, uh, he's harassing sexually a Muslim woman. What harassing? It's your prophet who's harassing. I was reading. This is two hours debate, you coward. This video is two hours, not two minutes. You play and you cut. They cut it off. You know, they cut like a, they, they attach things together. They are a bunch of liars. The video is there. Here we go. This is the video. This is a long video, but here in the debate is 35 minutes and uh, uh, 53. Halal for women to breastfeeding. Go watch the video. So they cut only, they cut the word panty. <laughs> Somebody was saying to me, I would do breastfeeding for you. <laughs> so... I mean, look how, how how stupid they are. This is Christian Prince is harassing this Muslim. I was reading what is written there, you coward. So what they try to do always is to dishonor you, you know, spread lies about you. And, you know, the funny, he just admitted, I mean, if I am you, Mimi Hijab, I would never even bring this topic because, look, because of what you did, you gave me a lot of uh, opportunity. He gave me an idea right away. I mean, I have the right to answer now about what kind of a prophet he ordered women to do breastfeeding. If you are saying, why Christian Prince? He said to her, the Christian Prince, he said to this woman, are you willing to do breastfeeding for me? If this is true? Is that the fault of a Christian Prince or the teaching of Muhammad? Christian Prince is a questioning Instead of uh, supposedly they are debating me, they are not debating me, they will not debate, debate, and they will never dare. And actually, none of them spoke to me. If you notice, this is the whole thing, you know, this is why they put the speakers in the other side of the room so nobody can hear me. This is the plan. In the same time, they will say, We got your Christian prince, so they can collect donation. <laughs> and in the same time, 
He called me best, bastard. Okay, why you am why am a bastard? Why I'm born four years after my father, like Muhammad? I mean, look at you see they they have a house from a glass. Actually, they don't even have a glass. It's not even a tent. And they start calling me all kind of names, but yet they cannot answer. So the plan is this, okay? This guy he keeps challenging us, and the Muslims are saying to us, "Please debate him, debate him." So we have to do it. I mean, what we can do? But look what we will do. We will post a challenge which a Christian prince will not say. That tomorrow we will be alive, and we will give him the first fifty minutes. If he call, he call. If not, that's it. He missed the boat. This is what he says, right? He never thought I will receive this message, and I will call them. And the second option, he never thought. If I call, I will have it live on my broadcast. Can you refute Yusuf? Who is Yusuf? My friend, we refute Muhammad. What Yusuf and those guys? They don't, they don't count for us. You see, if somebody want to debate me, debate me about Islam. Somebody, his name is Yusuf. I don't refute Yusuf. Well, who is Yusuf? I don't even refute Hijab. This, this guy is just making money from those people. You see, here we don't hit the tail. We hit the head of the snake. Do you understand me? I'm not here really to speak about this guy and this guy. They are, I don't care for them. They don't know me. I have no idea who they are. They hate me to death. No problem. But this is not the topic. The topic is Muhammad. Right? So don't fail into the, to, the, to their level and make it about them. They make it about me, right? Because this is their level. And look, they admitted that Christianity is good because he was saying, is that what the Christians, uh, is that what the Christ he said to you? This is not a Christianity. So Mimi Hijab, he make fun of a Christianity 24 hours, 7 days a week. But because a Christian prince, he spanked Muhammad with no mercy. Suddenly he want Christian prince to be Christian. Please be Christian again. Please, Christianity is good. Please, why you are not good a Christian? You know what I mean? Do you want me to be a good Christian? I was not a good Christian, according to them. Why? Because I was reading this. Aisha, she is doing breastfeeding for her men, the men who come to see her. I mean, what kind of cult this cult is? Imagine... <clears throat> Guys, is the sound good? Is is the quality good? Is the video good? People, they say buffering. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> so... If you read their text, they don't answer you about the text. You see that the topic now is not his prophet ordering women to do breastfeeding for adults. The topic is a Christian prince. Christian prince doing harassment for a woman, saying to her, Muslim women, do you do breastfeeding? <laughs> Those voice. Yeah, guys, what we can do? I mean, I'm losing this uh, free uh, service. Uh, let me see if I can do something. Hold on. <clears throat> no. All right, let us see. I hope now it's better. Okay. We increase. I'm using a free software and I bought like a bought a gadgets, you know, to but this is like for gaming. For for sure for me, I don't really do gaming, but uh, supposedly this uh, gadget will may do broadcasting to YouTube and to uh, what it's called Twitch something like that, you know. Anyway, but it didn't work. So I have to return it. Anyway, so you see, we are questioning their prophet teaching, and by admitting that the Christian prince, he is he became a predator, 
sexual predator. Why? Because I'm reading this. They admitted that Muhammad is a filthy man. They thought they are attacking me, and they, you know, this is they, they are savage, straight people, you know, like very low. But this is not about me, and everybody knows that. Why Christian Prince is talking about breastfeeding? What is that? What was the reason? I was reading their books. It's in their screen. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they try to put you down, but it doesn't work. It's working the opposite direction. In the same time, every time they mute me, and yet anyone, anyway, nobody hear me on the other side. They prove that they are a bunch of cowards. You said you want to debate. Where's the debate? Where is the debate in the debate? So today we prove many things. That in the other side, there was a, like I saw them in the video, there's a bunch of guys in the room. I don't know, five, six, seven. All of those trying to answer me, but none of them have an answer. All of them, they are just calling me names. Right? I was refuted by it in Twitter. Why you don't ask the guy? I mean, look at those guys. They refute me in Twitter. <laughs> I'm live here. <laughs> My friend, why you don't refute me in the bathroom too? Go to your bathroom and look at the mirror and debate me. You will win. You're alone there. I mean, so what is it? I mean, have you ever heard of somebody refuting somebody? You see, you don't dare to call me. And get me busted life on air. And even you get a chance to talk to me, you say, Christian Prince, read for us this verse. What is it? <laughs> read for us this verse. Arabic is my first language. 90% of the degrees I have, it's in Arabic. And the first degree I have ever in my life, it was in law, Islamic law. So I was studying in which language? Uh, maybe, maybe Urdu. So they try to, you know, like, he, he claimed to be a scholar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go. Anything you answer me, I give you the answer in a second. You call me today, guys. Did they ask me about one thing I did not give an answer? Just one? Not even one. Even though they did not let me talk. They said about, inshallah, I gave them the reference right away. They said about uh, Bulos, Polos, Paul. I showed them the reference from their own books, right? Immediately. And not only that, did you hear? He says, uh, you have a 20 second. You have what? You have a 20 second. And the guy to touch his nose, he need 20 second. Give me the reference. You have twenty second. <laughs> they are, they are just terrified, and they prepare for this. God knows for how long, and yet it was horrible. And by the way, I have more reviewer than his videos. You believe it? He have way more subscribers. I just put my my uh, my page in uh, the video in height, but I have more than him. You are a Christian and you could have a degree in Islamic law. Yeah, so what? Why not? In the Middle East, you cannot get a degree in, in, in law unless you study three religions, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. And all the law have to come from Islam. Who told you I cannot? This is a, this is a, a school. Somebody told you I have to go and study with Allah? Right now, you notice that uh, uh, always when Muslims they say anything to me, I get them the answer in a second. تتكلم العربية الفصحى نعم يا هذا أتكلم الفصعة هل تتكلم الفصعة أنت هل أنت من مفاصيع هذا الزمان يا أبا عبد الرحمن أين الكشتبان No sound. All right. 
uh, yeah it was actually it was a great day I'm, I'm very thankful for my Lord uh, you know we granted victory from the first second I called them you see the chaos from the second from the first second I called them you see the evil how much nervous they are they don't know what to do this guy is just okay okay bring him bring him bring him okay mute him mute him mute him mute him okay and, and my bastard bastard ba what happened why they are not uh, cool and uh, why they are nervous one guy alone his name is a Christian Prince and I had a had that and taught any a little idea and I will have it as a he had a cool and the bullets nabi or I'm a be more is that in be is me messy a Yusuf why you don't call me my friend guys we have a we have a guy his name is Yusuf Yusuf why do you like to call me in front of everybody you call me and I will show you the reference and as long you are asking about Sahih Hadith as you claim uh, I mean I find it very funny so you are saying to me that your Muslim scholars they write this in their books but yet there is no proof that's mean your scholars are a bunch of liars that's you mean you Muslims are not trustworthy that's mean Islamic books is garbage thank you very much you just made me have a victory so if your proof is that give me a Sahih Hadith saying that brother well, why you don't ask that to the scholars who wrote those things in their books, like Ibn Kathir? Hello? Are you there, Mr. Yusuf? Are you there, Yusuf? Why your scholars, they write their stories if they are not truthful? Do you have an answer, my friend? So you see, you are not proving me wrong. You are proving Islam to be false and Muslim scholars are businessmen like Mimi Hijab. So what you are saying to me, Ibn Kathir, one day he opened a YouTube channel and he wanted to get some donation and he said, Paul was a messenger of God. Right? So is that my problem or your problem? Are you Yusuf, should I open my sky for you, my friend? Because I can tell you are very smart. Are you there? Mr. Yusuf, if you call me, Allah will bless you and Allah will give you today a big gift. A woman, she will give you her breast to do breastfeeding from the Muslim community. And you know why you don't ask me about this? Is that Sahih? I mean, look at this. You see, guys, I challenge you to give me about Boris. Forget about Boris now. What about this? This this garbage in front of us. What kind of a prophet he said to a woman, "Give your breast to a strange man." It's in front of you. Are you playing blind now? Like you are saying, "I'm not going to see this. I'm not going to look at this. I cannot see this. I am not here. Don't call me now. I'm asleep." And the game of Sahih and Da'if and this garbage is just a way to get away from things. It's in your books. It's not my, this is your garbage. Deal with it. If those things are a bunch of lies, why they are in your books? And why you Muslim, you teach it and scream? Hey guys, what I can do? I mean, this is a free software. I have to do something. We will see. This uh, company, uh, the one I use broadcast with, uh, they give me maximum of 20 hours. They said you are exceeding more than 90%, 98% of the users. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'm beating them all. Are you there, Yusuf? This is your prophet wife, Aisha, ordering her sisters and her nieces to give their breast to strangers before they meet her. So is that now my problem or your problem? You ask me for a Quranic verse and authentic hadith, they are telling me, Ibn Kathir, do you think that everything which is Tafsir Ibn Kathir reliable and authentic? Thank you very much. So you are saying to me Ibn Kathir is a scam.
So why you mention to him? Why you mention his name to me? Why you Muslim? You say Ibn Kathir if Ibn Kathir is no one. Why Muslims in the time of Ibn Kathir did not say to Ibn Kathir, "Shame on you"? What are you saying? Hmm? And let me ask you: Can you give me one hadith from your prophet? As long you are the hero of hadith, can you give me your hadith, your prophet, one hadith where Muhammad he says Paul is a bad person? Can you? So where are you Muslims got this garbage now? If your prophet himself never say anything about Paul. Hmm? Do you have an answer? Number three, if we go to the Quran and we see the verses speaking about, which is obviously it's about Christ messengers. Who are those three messengers? Give me the name, my friend. Forget about Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Can you give me the name? Who are those three messengers? You see, I want to learn from you something today. Three messengers, who are they? Any Muhammadan have an answer? Because you see, this guy, uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, uh, show me uh, where it says this is uh, Polos. Okay, we show you. And now, if you don't agree, you have to show me who are they? Who are they? Right? Who is a Muslim when you tell me the names of those three messengers? If they are not Paulus, and not John, and not Peter, what is their names? Give me an authentic hadith. Are you there, Yusuf? Stop insulting Prophet Muhammad. Okay, my friend, I'm not insulting your Prophet. I call him as he called me. Muhammad, he says the Christian are Najis. Can I call him Najis too? Muhammad, he said we are Kuffar. Can I call him Kafir too? I mean, this is fair. So why you are saying stop insulting Muhammad? He insult me. I have the right to describe him as he is. You don't like it? Take a hike. Take the bus. Hmm? Take a bus, my friend. You cannot tell us what to say. We are not in the Middle East where you can, uh, you know, mute people and tell them, hey, "Shut up," and we will kill you. Your prophet is a false prophet. And here we go. What kind of Quran this Quran is? The Quran says that we made the book a clear book. Okay, uh, clear it for me. Here we go. A simple verse. Who are those three messengers? Who is the Muhammadan who wanna clear things for us? He left, he stayed, no problem. He can take a hike too. Any Muhammadan would like to call me? Let me open my Skype just to be sure that the doors of uh, Allah heaven is open. Remember, we will start doing live podcast in the other account, Christian Prince too. You know, we like, I mean, we we uh, we divide our broadcast to be in different places. So subscribe, please. All right, my Skype is open. Let us see, do we have any? Okay. Yeah, and I made two more videos for him. I, I got him busted. Yeah. Anyway, do we have any uh, any Muslim on a call? <clears throat> Anyone? A Christian brother, he just invited me to go to South Africa. Thank you, my friend.
Penny Muslim? Look at them. You see, when we, uh, they claim to be, uh, like, I mean, people, they can answer us. But they did not dare to let me speak. This is how much terrified they are. I cannot believe it, how much terrified. Well, I have their sound coming so clear from my side. I want you to talk to me. Get close to the mic so I can hear you. Where are you? They were living a scandal. Where, where it says that? Show us where. Oh, wait, I will show you. I never ever say something without showing the reference. Even when he gave me 20 seconds, 20 seconds, it's like, like those guys, you know, he, he thought he would make it like impossible. I mean, 20 seconds. Imagine you want to when you want to get a book in Arabic from the middle of nowhere in 20 seconds. If you pass the 20 seconds, you're lost. Why 20 seconds? What will happen if it's 25 seconds? Anyway, today it was a great spanking. And we gave a proof that those people are a fraud. And our brother, David Wood, you know, he did really a great job uh, when he spoke to them. The only problem, you know, David Wood is a very polite. I, I see it a problem. Yes, I, me myself, I see the problem. He's a polite person, you know. Those people, you, I cannot be polite with them. You see, there is something maybe the Christians, most of them don't understand. Muslims, they believe, because their Quran says, so let me show you. They believe that when you are a nice person, that because Allah, he curse you and he make you humiliated. This is why they are saying, why are you not a Christian? You see, because the Christians... They are nice people. They are kind people. As a Christ, He ordered them to do to be. Muslims, they've been taught that they're different in the in the Quran. Chapter three, verse one twelve. Look what it says. Read carefully. Read carefully. This is their translation. Shame is bitch over them like a tent, whenever they are found. Do you see it? My friend, he can be no problem. He can call me in Skype. <coughs> the one he said he want to debate me in Skype. Okay, let let, let us uh, find his name. <coughs> Excuse my voice; it's tired. Hey, I don't know. There is two uh, two of them, my friend. Which one is yours? Sa Sami. Al Islam. Maybe this one. Are you from Saudi Arabia, my friend? Okay, I will send you hi. Please send me hi back. If you are the person. And look how different it is. Like you are complaining about how I spoke to Muslim women. What I spoke about. I was talking about breastfeeding. What the topic. What I will talk about. <laughs> I mean the topic is about breastfeeding. It's my fault. That's your prophet. He is. What he is. This is the topic. Breastfeeding for adult. Yeah, I don't know. This gentleman, he did not answer. I'm not sure. Oh, this is the second person. Okay, I, I, I texted the wrong person then. All right, this is the person. No problem. <coughs> Let us call our friend here. He's a Muslim. Hello? Hello? 
Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Please put your camera down. There's no need for a camera. Okay. One second, please. No problem. I will call you back. I'm on my phone right now. All right. Okay, he's in his phone. You know, it's, you know sound interesting. <clears throat> Uh, invite your friends guys we don't have too many but it's okay now always always in case we lose our channels we don't know you never know you know how to find me right always you will get the update either in patreon or in minds right remember that hello Hello? Yes, Mr. Sam, go ahead. You are, you are live on air. Salam alaikum, CP. Wa alaikum as salam. Ahla akh inta. Oh, you are a Christian then, huh? <laughs> la la, I'm a Muslim. You are a Muslim, okay, but you call me a brother. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Okay, so how, how come you call me brother? I mean, I don't understand. Ahla akhwan fil dunya, sah? Akhwan fil dunya, but Islam says no. He says Islam, he says, says, wa indam al muslimin, but minina akhwa. Right? Only the believers are, are, are brothers in Islam. And you are a Muslim, so you cannot call me a brother. But, but, if, aren't, um, but the Christians are the people of the book. So no no problem, my friend, my friend. You see, I'm not talking about me. I'm, for me, I would love to have you as a friend, as a brother. No problem. Don't talk. Uh, this is not personal, uh, uh, Aziz. We are talking about Islam. This is not about me and you. Does the Quran says that a Muslim, a true Muslim, shall not take even his own family as a friend, yes or no? Um, I've heard something about that, to be honest. Yeah, well, I, it's, uh, you know, for me, I don't, I don't uh, talk about I heard, he heard, she heard. I prove it. Mm. So let us go, you know, and see if this is true or not. Here we go. Chapter, and you speak Arabic, so, you know, we, we don't... So can you, share, can you share your screen so I can see? Sorry sure, for interrupting. Sure, I will show it in Arabic and English. It says... لا تجد قوما يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر شوية شوية أقرأ أقرأ أفضى أخويا لأن أنا العربي مالتي يعني مو مبين. Okay, he's asking me to read the story in Arabic because his Arabic is not as good as I do. Okay, لا تجد not 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 as good as yours, but I won't give you Arabic lessons. No problem, my friend. No problem. It's not about me giving you a lesson or not, but I'm just reading. You can read it yourself. No problem. I will I will I will I will not talk. Go ahead. I have it for you on the screen. I can't see it. Should I go on YouTube and see oh, okay. it? Okay. Well, this is a chapter fifty-eight, verse number twenty-two. It says it clearly. You can you can search right now as you speak. Search in Google. Quran, okay. Chapter fifty-eight. I'm, I'm Google. I'm Google. No problem. Quran chapter fifty-eight, verse number twenty-two. It says you will not find one person. He's a Muslim. Just one, who is going to be a friend to those who they are the enemies of Allah. Who are the enemy of Allah? Those who reject Islam. Even they cannot take them as a friend, even if they are their fathers and their sons. But ya akhi, if you pay jizya with humiliation, you will be my friend. <laughs> That's a good one. Fahamti ya akhi? Ya fahamt, fahamt. Fahamt ha? Shinu hada? Hada hijab, fad wahed muti, kit mard, mard afashar. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I know for us, you CP, know. CP, look, look, I really respect you because you are a great, great human being, you know. And as a Christian brother to you, I will always respect you. And you are my brother, so even if I've never met you. So you're a Christian or a Muslim? I'm a Christian from the Middle East. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> ah, so you say you are a Muslim. Ah. You make your call, huh? Because you know. You know, you know, I just want to talk to you because, like, I've listened to you for so many weeks and, like, I really respect you, you know. Thank you. Man. And uh, and there's one thing I'm really disgusted by these Muslims because they do this all the time. They're like snakes. When you confront them with their own sources, they lie, they lie, they lie okay. because they have no way of defending something that is false. Yeah, that's and right. that's why the truth will set you free. And may the may the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. But next time, don't say you are a Muslim. That's not that's not a right thing to do. I, I understand, I understand, but look, I just wanted to speak to you because I've been seeing some very nasty things coming out of uh, Hijab's mouth about breastfeeding and like he defends some very despicable, nasty well, things. You know, and he Good for those who live in the Middle East. Let us see. If, if this is good, why, why they don't practice it? If Ali Dawa, uh, he come to visit uh, Mimi Hijab, then uh, Mimi Hijab wife should give her breast to Ali Dawa. 
Why don't make a video about it? How to practice it? Teach us how to do breastfeeding for adults. Well, uh, I think his beard will get in the way, to be honest, but yeah. um, I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you, my friend, for calling. Take care. Thank you, my friend. <clears throat> Yeah, we have another Muslim here. Actually, the first one was about... Guys, don't do this. Don't take, say you are a Muslim and you call me and then we find that you are not. Don't do that. Okay. We are calling uh, Mr. Mirza, but he is not answering. It says not online, but he is saying to me, are you online? Anything they say about me, remember, you see, because they are empty, they could not refute me. They are calling me names. They are attacking my person as if I am the prophet. You know what I mean? That means they are bankrupt. You should answer the guy. You say he's bad, you say whatever you say. Okay, let us say this Christian prince is a bad person. And <laughs> even your Quran says every human being is a sinner. You can speak against me as much as you wish. Who told you? I am not a bishop. I'm not a priest. I am not a prophet. I'm no one. Nobody. Still, you cannot refute me and Allah cannot debate me. As simple as that. As much as I am no one, as much as your God and all of you together cannot refute me. Yeah, this is the same they did with the, what the, what his name? Uh, apostate prophet. Personal, about his look and his nose and his eyes. I mean, what is this? So if I, I show myself in the camera, they will talk about my nose. <laughs> they said he looked like a rat. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have, we have, uh, <clears throat> uh, we have a nice uh, message here. I will destroy you. Give me a chance to call. Guys, should I take this call? I'm afraid. I mean, this is this is really scary. All right. I will take the risk. I like to be destroyed. debate my friend you are like Muhammad hijab you moved me from other side and you talk to yourself somebody saying do another debate my friend I always, I'm here always to debate Muslim as you see anyone can call me and this guy is a coward he don't he, where is the debate we did not debate we didn't even talk to each other and all of this because they are terrified they are so scared I mean did you notice how many guys are there just to talk to me if I'm no one, what about you go stand in front of the camera and put your hand in your waist and say to me, silence me, answer me. <laughs> yeah, and they call me cowards and all the names. Christian Prince the coward. Call me and let us read the Arabic, the, one, the verses you are talking about. Any verses, not only those. And actually, I will make you read Arabic too, so we can laugh. I have all your videos. They are, they are, they are funny when you recite the Quran. <clears throat> but 
my, and my friend, you know, listen, listen. You see, I know, I told you from yesterday, didn't, didn't I, that those people will never debate me. Didn't I say to you they will mute me? Actually, in the same video, if you start from the beginning, you will see I said that they will mute me, they will not let me talk, etc. This is why we are here in our channel. Because I am, I know they will do that. This is what they do. And later they fabricate videos like now they make a video about me and that girl, a five minute. But this is not the video. The video is is long video. This was like a long, long. You know, as as you know, I never go online for for five minute. Have you ever seen when I when a Christian prince he says short video, short video is like one hour. Usually, especially if I'm live, like maybe it might be short if I am not live, maybe. But the second Christian Prince, he go live. The short video of Christian Prince is an hour. This is a short video. <clears throat> so they got some videos and supposedly they will make me look bad. And now I look bad. But guess what? The video you were playing about this woman, you idiot, it's there online. People, they can go and watch it. Here we go. You are a potato. You cut off the voice and you put the word panty, breastfeeding. <laughs> they did anything. <laughs> this is the video. It's there. In the front, if you go right now and download it and post it all over. <laughs> They cannot trap me, my friend. Tell those who they have no voice to refresh their page. Sometime maybe we lose connection. Yeah. We are using a free software. I will I need to find a solution for this free software thing. Do we have any Muslim wanna call me and destroy me? Anyone? <clears throat> and you know the the funny they don't uh, they don't say okay. Uh, our prophet he say breastfeeding for adult. Uh, I mean, let us answer this guy about it. No, they are saying he said to a, a Muslim woman. So what if she's a Muslim woman? Like is she is coming from the sky? You, 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 your women do muta. Do you know what muta? Let me show you what muta is. Here we go. You know, they want to give you an idea that Muslim women, they are holy women. A Muslim woman, he's asking a Muslim woman. <laughs> this is your Muslim woman, read it. In some work, special term applied to women who participate in muta. Musta'ajara. Musta'ajara, what does that mean? Translation. Or rented women. Do you see it? A brother, did you see how this guy is asking this Muslim woman? Suddenly now she have an honor? Well, she is calling me, challenging me to show her where it says that. And she speak Arabic. And look what you Muslim you say about her in your books. Rented women. Why, she is a bicycle? What is the religion teach that women can be rented? Huh? What is the name of this religion? Guys, because we are using a free software. Free software. This is what happens when you do free stuff. All right? Yeah, it's all right. Rented women. And look, it says here. Muta, brother, is considered a kind of rental because, in general, man's basic aim in this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment and uh, of a woman. And in return 
of his joy the women receive certain amount of money or a property suddenly your women she have owner where is the owner do this Islam religion teach owner if Muhammad hijab his sister she came back home and she said and she have a guy with her taking her to the bedroom Muhammad Mimi hijab will say who is this guy don't you know it's haram to have a guy he's a stranger she will say to you he's not a stranger respect yourself please we are doing muta and he will pay me ten dollars an hour <clears throat> hmm? this is your religion I have nothing from my pocket here we go this is your website and this is your words in def defining the rental what <laughs> they're still explaining about the rental <laughs> I mean look at this you, when you read this you think you think you are going to rent a car you are going to rent a horse you are going to rent a donkey it's a woman no no I do not need a new computer my computer is fine but the problem here where I live the speed of the uploading is way down compared to the speed of downloading so I have good downloading speed but I have a very bad uploading speed which I need for you too and now because I'm using this free software it's affecting that have patient guys have patient <clears throat> all right so anyway today actually you know for me it was a great day and to be honest with you I love it yes I shouted etc but I wasn't expecting myself not to be doing that I know what kind of people they are I know they are scared of me they will not let me talk they will not give me a chance so I have to shout especially they told me there you see I have somebody telling me in the chat telling me that your voice nobody can hear it so I was screaming louder they put the Skype at the end of the room so they will hear it but the audience they cannot because you see the mic they cannot cannot uh, if you if you if you have somebody in the end of the room talking you cannot really hear it you will hear little you know words uh, did you ask yourself why they put Skype in the other side of the room I mean shouldn't they put Skype next to the microphone correct so this is what the setup the setup is people they will hear them asking me and challenging me but people will not hear me getting them busted you get the point we will not let him be here heard in the same time we are calling him so they put a Skype computer even though the Skype is connected to the TV the Skype is connected to the TV but the sound is coming from the computer and the computer is in this other side of the room so their voice will be clear my voice will not be heard and if my voice is heard they will mute me and they muted me and not only that they keep shutting that they keep uh, hanging up on me uh, <clears throat> they think you are bald guy with the beard was you well beard guy well, you know who who care I mean why why it's important if I <laughs> I mean this is this is proving that there are a bunch of kids uh, children's right yeah but anyway this is a this is a very very great opportunity for us as a Christians first a Christian they saw in a practice that those people what they did with David Wood it was not better but it was more professional you know what I mean today we got them busted wide open the garbage came out in David Wood because it was like in a place public etc so they have to maintain and even though they did not maintain any promise actually David Wood look how nice David Wood when he came to the debate this guy he put his hand to shake his hand do you know that if you go in the video you will see it 
Mimi Hijab, he refused to shake hands with David Wood. This guy, he thinks that because, yeah, the Quran says we are dirty, we are filthy. Yeah. So they take advantage of someone is polite and nice. And they knew I am not going to let them go get away with their rudeness and savageness. I will do what I need to do. And this is why the fear is. <clears throat> anyway if you play with the cat the cat will say meow don't accept don't expect something different she is a cat oh I made a video about this verse, the one they mentioned, you know, go watch it. I post them in YouTube, uh, in uh, Patreon. I made two videos. I hope you guys, you download them and share them. Always when I make a video, download it and share it everywhere. And if you have an account, you have too many of my videos. I advise you to have the following. First, to have a backup of, of the videos. Secondly, to have many channels. You know what I mean? And set up an account like in Minds, like the same as I did. So when you lose your account, you can just tell your friends who subscribe, they support you, to join you in the new account. Right? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Yeah, debate me, answer me, silence me. <laughs> and you know, <clears throat> no sound. I don't know. So, so should I hang up? It says every five minutes there is no sound. I don't know. Let us change the output again. Hold on. I mean, what I will do? Let us make it. Six thousand. Look like it's not saving the thing, maybe. Okay, let us see now. Okay, I hope it's I hope it's better now. Let us hope so. So my friends, my brothers in Christ, no one can debate us. Not because Christian Prince is tall, big, huge. This is not about size. This is about stupidity if you are tall but stupid big but a bird poop can make you bend down what is the benefit Islam is like a balloon it took big but from inside it's a gas all what you need is a needle. All what you need is a needle. And this is why they fear me. They saw a needle coming. Anta tahjal min antakuna arabian. هذا أمر محزن جدا uh, المستورد إسلامك my friend Mr. المستور المستورد why you don't call me my friend and what do you mean I am you know تخجل أن تكون عربيا what does that mean 
Can you tell me what does that mean? What do you mean? You are ashamed to be an Arab? No, I'm ashamed that Muhammad he claimed to be an Arab. Uh, it's not what well, is my fault if I'm an Arab. What I did. But because of Islam today, if you are an Arab, they they check you any time you go to any airplane. They think I'm a terrorist because of Muhammad. Al Mustawrid, why you don't call me, my friend? As long you are a Muslim who speak Arabic. Are you proud to be an Arab? No problem. I'm proud Indian, friend, my friend. What, what does this have to do with our topic? Brother and sister, my name is the Christian Prince and I'm from India. Okay, and what does this have to do with my topic? If you are an Arab or an Indian, we are a human being. I mean, this is the most, I mean, even their argument is silly, man. I mean, look at this. We talk about potatoes, they talk about tomato. You are an Arab, you are an Indian, you are, who cares? They cannot answer us, so they speak about silly stuff. This guy is ashamed to be an Arab. By the way, no, I'm not ashamed to be an Arab. But I'm ashamed that of Islam, because Islam attaches itself to us. But we have nothing to do with, with Islam. <clears throat> I will be ashamed if I do something bad, that's all. Nothing will shame me except me doing something bad. But where I'm coming from, that will not ever shame anyone. If you are black, African, white, Asian, that will not shame you, my friend, whoever you are. What will shame you is how harmful you are, how bad you are, how ugly you are, you know, not uh, where you're coming from. Well, sound is missing again. You know what to do. Oh. We might not need to read uh, as, uh, somebody say it, uh, Satani, my friend. Where are we going? This is uh, who? Who care about? Who care about Satani? Uh, Sistani or something? I mean those. Here we go. This is Islam. This is the Quran. This is Muhammad. Never waste your time speaking about a scholar. Speak about the founder of Islam. All right. Yeah, I think we have to. Right. I have it at 6,000. It still is not working. Muhammad okay we have a Muslim let us see <clears throat> we have a Muslim I guess he's from Pakistan <laughs> this is Muhammad Khan playing for me Quran I'm so proud of you, Muhammad. I mean, your mother is so proud of you. And he is wearing his uh, uh, Pakistani. I mean, no wonder that's in, uh, in in Google. They said number one people who search for, you know, in Google is this country. I mean, you're a prophet. You're, everybody is proud of you. You're calling me and you're playing a porn. Okay. Is that from the Muta? <laughs> what a potato kid yeah this is what they are busy doing and by the way I can I, I you see don't tell me don't tell me read this verse I can show it to you from the Quran in the Quran if we go it says wa imra'a mu'mina wahabat nafsa al rasul any believing women she gave herself to the prophet so he can do boom boom with her you are right 
I mean, actually, you are. Man, I don't know why I hang up on you. Why in the world I will hang up on you? You were just quoting the Quran. What this have to do with God? Any Muslim can tell me. What kind of God? He says, any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet, so the Prophet he can do boom boom with her, and this is a privilege for the Prophet. And all those women, brother, the Prophet he can do boom boom with them. What does this have to do with God? And why this Prophet he have a privilege when it's come to his panty? And look at the intelligence of this verse. O oh, Prophet, we made lawful for you your wives. That guy is sleeping with them for the last century, and now you remember to tell him that your wives is lawful? I mean, don't you see something stupid here? Imagine a guy, he come to me, to my house, and I say, Brother, I tell you, your wife is lawful. That guy, he have 10 kids from her already. Now you want to tell him that they are lawful? Don't you think you are late? And then, okay, who and who? And the one who you paid your dowers, and who? And those who you captured them from war, you can rape them, and who? They are assigned to you, those are assigned by Allah, those women who captured them in war, kidnapped them. And who? And the daughters of your uncles, and who? And the daughter of the other uncle, and who? And migrant women in Mecca. And I believe in women, she, she dictate her soul? Muhammad will do boom boom with her soul? This is soul boom boom. You know what? Every everybody have the right to do soul boom boom. What, what do you mean dictate her soul? How how she uh, any Muslim can call us and tell us exactly how this woman she would dictate her soul to the Prophet? What he would do what with her soul? <clears throat> dictate her soul. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Additional to this guy who wanna play for us porn. What does this have to do with religion? You tell me. I mean, Muhammad, he had many wives already. Why why God, he want to make a verse is saying, any woman, she want to give herself to the Prophet to do boom, boom, you are welcome. What does this have to do with God? You tell me. I'm listening. Yeah, Islam teach anything about soul, uh, soul, don't you see? The woman, she dictate her soul. The Prophet will take her soul to the bed and he will do, uh, you know, with, with the soul, soul business. The translator, translator is an idiot because here, yes, it says soul, but in Arabic, it says nafsaha, but this is not about soul, it's about herself. You see, nafsaha, nafs, it coming from the word soul, true. But still, the translator is an idiot. He got it wrong. It's not her soul. Dictate herself. Maybe he is using Google translation. I don't know. <clears throat> so, do we have any Muslim? All right. I think we have enough for today. <coughs> I apologize for the quality. Of uh, the sound but you see after we finish broadcast the sound come right you see only in when we are live I think there's a problem I will see how I can fix this issue but we don't know what to do uh, but remember rented women is not a problem in Islam but Christian Prince asking about it he is a bad person disgusting Christian Prince Yeah, Khawla bintu Hakim. Yeah, she is the auntie of the Prophet. She offered herself to the Prophet. 
and it's good to be a prophet I mean what do you want more you say you're a prophet you wake up in the morning you find a bunch of women in front of your door they will not have a boom boom long line of women you know I will order a machine from Amazon of ticket you know like so they will not fight first come first serve and not only that just to show you how funny it is when some women they are old with, with my respect to old women and some women they are not good looking Muhammad he he like he said to himself what I did to myself look at those women look how they are man I want children's so look what he said he made another verse saying uh, Allah told me that you might turn any of them if you please and you can receive anyone if you please so it's up to you you choose one because now he made a verse saying any woman she can give herself and now there's women who they are old and he's not really he's not he, he did not say this verse for those women he, he he want young beautiful girls you know and then old women who they are seeking you see women they are offering uh, themselves to Muhammad not because they are desperately in love with him this is about security those women who have no husband no man to take care of them if she goes deep with the Prophet she will have a free tent free food and protection for the rest of her life because Muhammad he made it clear that the women he he sleep with her no man can sleep with her after him no man this is why women they were offering themselves security it's like a woman you know you go uh, <clears throat> uh, like you go to some poor countries you will see someone he's eight years old and he go to uh, Philippines or Thailand and then he find the girl she is 18 years old well, you can tell that this 18 years old girl there's no way she is in love with this 80 years old man I mean the difference between them is more than 60 years and the guy hardly can walk so what is the intention intention is the guy he need a nurse he knew that she need his money and you know the woman she accept because she is looking for security you see many, many of those poor women there you know because they are poor if, if, if they are not poor they will not marry someone in, the, in this age right just because they are poor and by the way that does not make them bad people by the way because a woman a human being you know at the end of the day she is a human being and there's no jobs there's so I don't blame her if she marry someone is older than her to bring her security so she will not be homeless or she been forced to do some bad business at least she is married old man, old man yes but she is a wife and her husband you know. so I mean this is the purpose of this those women they are not really interested of Muhammad it is just about security all right I think we have enough for today uh, don't forget to download the video I will leave it for some time before we take it uh, hide it and if you are looking for the video which we have in the debate just search the title you will find it there is many Christians they download my videos they share them or you can get it from uh, uh, patreon if you are a subscriber there uh, Shamsi no uh, Shamsi I mean I answer him this guy this guy is a poor guy this guy he made a video for Mimi hijab accusing him of stealing money etc you can watch it they, they keep fighting you know they keep calling each other names and garbage and you see all those guys they are in the room with Mimi hijab soon you will see they will be fighting over money just wait because this is what what is gathering them it's the business do you remember the verse in the Quran where the Muslims accuse Muhammad that he stole a panty do you, do you remember who remember chapter 3 verse number 161 how now today after 1400 years we know about this panty thing because they start fighting over it so why he would be better than his prophet And Allah, in order to uh, clear his name, 
I mean, look at this. Uh, that, um, this is stupid. Uh, let us say somebody accused me of a th being a thief, and I am a prophet. And then Allah, He sent a video from to YouTube saying Christian Prince is not a thief. Okay, what is the proof? What about you? Tell us who is the where is the panty? The panty is missing. We are looking for it until now. It's it's winter. If you go to the FBI of Saudi Arabia, you will find a big picture for a nice, beautiful, sexy panty. It says if you find this panty which is stole in the time of the Prophet, call this number. So Allah he says it is not Muhammad who stole the panty. Why Allah did not tell us who is the one who took the panty? Isn't it he God? He knew who who took it. You, you know what I mean? And what what kind of God and what kind of religion making a verse about a panty, a red panty was stolen? Huh? Plus, thief. The thieves are fighting over a panty. <clears throat> so, my friend, they will try to bash anyone who exposes Islam. That is not bad. Trust me. That is very good. The more they bash us, the more we are successful. As I said, I have many subscribers today because of this uh, stupid debate today, if we can call it a debate. It was a humiliation for Islam. They could not answer me. They could not even talk to me. They didn't even get close to the mic to talk to me. And they thought they can play me. You cannot. This is why we have it recorded in the other side. Uh, imagine how bad the mistake will be if I just call it in Skype. Do you know what will happen? People they did not hear me. And people will say, okay, this guy, he answered nothing. Right? They put my voice far away from the micro microphone anyway. Even if I talk uh, hardly. The only way you can hear me a little bit if I am screaming. I was screaming really hard. They told me in the Skype, in the chat, your voice they put you like far away from the so nobody can hear you so I was screaming so hard so at, even though I you know still people hardly can hear me and you can't even understand so the plan was very simple we will call him but yet we are not with him and we will mute him but even after all of this we did destroy them we shame them we shame this man and his his team by not saying inshallah tomorrow you will see how many muslims they will say christian prince he humiliated muhammad hijab for not saying inshallah just wait how many muslims they will laugh at them this why this is for me was very important this inshallah stuff in islam is very very important a person he don't do that he's not a muslim he's not And every single topic they mention, it was for our benefit, one million percent. Breastfeeding, poll, and then they hang up. Easy, easy. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, always download our videos after we finish. I will keep this video for a few hours. And I hope tomorrow I will be able to go live on air, if not the day after. And please subscribe to my other account, which is which is a Christian Prince. And actually, already uh, I have I posted a video there in uh, in Patreon in that account. Uh, you can click at that video so you can follow it and you can subscribe and you can download the new videos. Uh, we have a Shahid. Shahid, are you there, my friend? You want to call me? Teach us about Insiya, Insiya Allah. I'm not sure what they mean, fairy. What Insiya Allah? Maybe you are not saying the word correctly. Do we have Mr. Shahid? You want to call me? Any Muslim? No problem. We'll stay five minutes more. No problem. 
Where is Mr. Shahid? He wanna call? <clears throat> yeah, and as you see, you know, I got them busted, and this is why they fear me, by the way. They don't, they, the reason they are so angry from me and they fear me, because I got them busted from their books. You see, if you show them from the Bible, they will have your voice clear and they will not really, they will not, you know, I mean, they, they will, that will be a very good deal for them. It's just the Bible, we can say it's not true. Or, but the problem is a Christian prince, he got them busted from their books. This is why they do fear speaking to me. Because the answer will come from their books guaranteed. Whatever they say, even when they attack the Bible, I will get them busted from their books. And this is why they cannot do a debate with me. They cannot. And they will not. Maybe, maybe, any Muslim wanna, and again, this is the video, they were lying, saying that I was harassing Muslim women, this blah, 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 stupid liars. This is the original video about this woman. And you tell me, where is the harassment, you coward liar? This is live on air. This is not in the street, number one. Number two, we are reading to prove a point. Number three, she challenged me to show it. Number four, I ask her, okay, if this is true, are you willing to do it? <laughs> Sexual harassment. Christian prince doing uh, harassment to uh, Muslim women. A Christian uh, uh, sexual predator. What a, what a bunch of liars. Garbage in, garbage out. I was reading your garbage. Oh, we got them busted. And here we go. This is the original video. You see, this is why I say always keep my videos. You see, if this video is not there, they will say uh, no, you know. So they cut the videos, they cut pieces to make it look like this guy is bad. Did he say panty? Did he say breast? Did he say, yeah, I said that. Go. But shame on you to play with the video. Play it as it is. I challenged Mimi Hijab to post the video in his YouTube. Here we go, it's there. All of it, it's from the beginning, the second she called me to the second we hang up. Let me be sure, hold on. I will go to zero. Why is a Christian? Abdullah. Why is a Christian? Abdullah, Abdullah, listen. Can you kiss the black stone or not? Can, can you kiss the black stone for me? When, when the next time you will go to Hajj? I want you to kiss the black stone for me. Oh, you want to to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where you, show me where it says in the Bible kiss the cross. No, no. Show me, show me. <laughs> anyway, I think this is not all of it, actually. It's a, it's a, it's way longer, but uh, this is thirty seven, including the what they are quoting from their video, thirty seven minutes. Uh, yeah, I think it's longer than this, way longer. Uh, the the video for sure, I think maybe it's three hours, but maybe the call itself is like this is, he cut it from the second she called me maybe. I'm not sure. You know, I called, I speak to millions of people and hard to remember which one is one. But all what we do always is in public and we publish it and it's live and like you now, a Muslim woman, she called me, I will ask her the same questions. So if this is a shameful for me to ask those questions, that's mean Islam is a shame, my friend, because those questions is because of Islam saying that, not me. You kiss rocks, yet you claim that we are pagan. I mean, why you kiss a black stone? Christians are pagan. You say Christians are pagan, why? How we can be pagans? The Bible says it clearly from the first you know, uh, uh, books that make no images in what is in up in heaven or down in earth in order for ship. What kind of a prophet he kisses stones? And not only that, he claimed that this stone is, is going to come in the judgment day and is going to witness for the Muslims, is going to have eyes and tongues. <clears throat> so, Mr. Shahid, you will call me or not? Don't waste my time. I have four wives waiting for me. I want to do like Prophet Solomon, my friend. He was having 99 wives, and uh, he decided to have uh, 
you know, boom, boom with them. But he forgot to say, inshallah. Now, in my case, I will not forget that. So what do you say? Hmm? If you call me right now, Allah will bless you. Allah will bless you. He will give you extra versions. And for sure they are versions, by the way. You can check them out. I will teach you how. When I was in the heaven of Allah, you know, because Allah cheat. Allah, he cheat. He gave me one, one delivery of 100 versions. And I find out later they are not versions. So what I did, I got a bathtub. I put a lot of shampoo. Not shampoo. Shampoo, brother. Why shampoo? Shampoo. And I was forcing those uh, versions to jump in the bubbles. So if they make bubbles, and I tell them, don't fart. Be careful. Because if they fart, you, you know, you might not be misleaded. So I tell them not to fart. And I make them jump in the bubbles. If there's no bubbles come out, that's mean there are reversions. And this is how I was able to do, get the delivery from Allah about the versions. You know, from the 100 version Allah He gave me, I found uh, none as versions. All of them they have bubbles. So I send them back. And then Allah now He learned that I will go to check them. I'm not going just accept it blindly. You know. So look what He did. Allah is powerful, my friend. He cut water from my palace. So the second delivery came, 100 versions. And now I said, okay, I'm going to check them now. I have no water, which means we cannot do bubbles. But guess what? Hey, I'm a Christian prince. Do you know those bubbles? They do, wouldn't do, do them for the kids. I have many of them. They took with me from uh, Walmart. And I use them. And again, the bubbles happen. You order her, and then I'm not going to say how exactly, and then you... <laughs> And the bubbles go there, you know, and then like brrr. obviously is there is a cheating. And then Allah He sent Muhammad, He stole those bubble stuff from Walmart from my house, the Mujahideen. And I got the third delivery of 100 versions. And now, how I'm going to check them out? I have no bubbles left, I have no water, no shampoo. So, what I will do, what I will do, what I will do, I mean, I. I, like uh, I do not know what to do. I said, okay, I got an idea. I have balloons. I have balloons. So I will put the balloons there. I mean, the story is long, my friend. Just come tomorrow, I will tell you the rest. <laughs> Versions. What a stupid cult. Versions. <laughs> I mean, if this is not a stupidity itself, what is a stupidity? Right? <coughs> how <coughs> how dirty Muhammad was? <coughs> no, you see, the Prophet was not dirty. Yes, he have lies, but this is not because he was dirty. Let me tell you how, what, what a Muslim once he told me. He was a sheikh. You can find the video on YouTube. Uh, because this was from the time in Palto. He said that at that time, people, they used to have it for fun, lies. Only rich people, they have lies. Poor people, they cannot have lies. So the prophet have lies because like it's like like habit, you know? Like you are sitting home, you have no internet, you have no TV. So what do you do? Lies. Lies in your pants, lies in your hair. They will like, they you know, this actually Muhammad, he said, uh, you cannot curse. Let me see. Let me see if I can get the hadith. I mean, why you, why, why you remind me of this? I have to go. Uh, <clears throat> Muhammad, he said, don't curse it. Because it it wake up the prophet to pray. Let me see if I can find <coughs> find you the hadith. And by the way, this is the reason Muslim they don't dare to debate me because whatever topic they open, my you know my knowledge will will blow them. Uh, <coughs> Let us see. Yeah, and he he forbid them from uh, cursing the uh, the lice and the uh, uh, the chicken uh, rooster. Let us see. <clears throat> Let 
Yeah, and Muhammad he claimed that uh, the, the those lies uh, they are they are uh, sent by Allah to wake you up to pray. I cannot find this one here. This. Um, let us see. <clears throat> yeah, I have to find it because if I say something, I, I don't show it. Muslim, they will say, "See, he is not." Here we go. This is one of them. Anas ibn Malik, blah blah blah. He said that man cursed flees in the prison of the prophet the prophet may bless him and grant him peace and the prophet may allah bless him and grant him peace says don't curse them don't curse them a flea woke up up one of the prophets for the prayer do you see it do you see it my friend So curse the Christians, curse the Jews, but don't curse the lies and the fleas. Actually, you know what? I was trying to uh, to make an, like an interview with one of the fleas who used to live in the prophet underwear because she have a lot of secrets. But she said that she's afraid for her life. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Yeah, actually, okay, maybe tomorrow, if I go live tomorrow, I will make a video about how how we clean the profit. But let me give you, hold on, let me give you the link we will be on tomorrow. So you guys, you can subscribe and tell your friends. Give me a second. Because I'm thinking tomorrow to go in the other account. Um, Okay, let us see. All right, this is the account. You see, I keep my videos in 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 the private, so you might see nothing there. But anyway, subscribe anyway. All right. Is it working? Do you go there? This is a Christian Prince account. I don't have too many people there, by the way. I have like just 11,000, which is nothing much. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. And, uh, uh, Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for victory. Thank you even for the curse Muslims, the curse upon me and upon the Christians. For this is a blessing for us, as the Lord, he said, that to bless those who they curse you, you know. So, and even he says time will, will come and people will, will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. And this is true, my friend. You know, don't hate the Muslims. Because the devil plan is, if we hate, that's it, the whole earth is doomed. Who is left? If we become like them. Hate Satan, hate the devil, hate the evil, hate the, hate the lies. But don't be evil like whoever they were doing evil. Don't fight evil by evil. Don't fight, don't fight deception by deception. Like what they do, you know, they think uh, they can fight us by their deception. But we are telling the truth and actually they are helping me way better in the way they do it because people did notice how disgusting this cult is i mean anyone who watched he can see right away that this is not even right forget about what the christian prince is saying i mean the christian prince is bad is good but this is not really i mean what can what kind of religion making you do this right
So the Lord he said that from their fruits. You could not find the channel? You could not? Okay. Somebody he said he could not find the channel. Could you find the channel, guys, or not? Were you able to open the link? I posted for you. Were you able to open the link I posted? In this account, this is just one of many accounts I have. This is, uh, as you see, it says here 11. <clears throat> Only 11. 11,000. But this is just a side. We have many side accounts because, you know, you never know when you lose your account. And, you know, for me, I'm not really worried about it because wherever I go, people will come. And as you see, the Muslims, by the way, they are helping us. Whoever watched today, even those who do not know who is a Christian, there's, there's people they never until now heard about me, you know, maybe. And they will say, okay, let us see who's this guy. Even if they are Muslims and they hate me. But this is because this is how always how it starts. First they hate you, then they love you. First they curse you, then they leave Islam and they say thank you. This is my experience with Islam. All the Muslims who left Islam, what I do and for sure the help of people here in the beginning they curse me they hang up saying the glory to the Lord I'm a Christian right all right guys thank you very much so tomorrow I will try to be there if you like to join us and for sure tomorrow we will use the other uh, uh, software which will not have voice you know this why I mean I have a good uh, streaming uh, this one we are using now it's free and this is what is causing the problem. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download this video. This video, uh, sorry, uh, as soon as I finish, it take maybe like twenty minutes for for YouTube to process. After that, you can uh, download and load it in your video in your YouTube. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you. And I'm not going to play music. My voice is gone. You can't tell. <laughs> Christ is Lord. Islam is funny. <laughs> Made by a dummy for the dummy. See ya. Bye-bye.